good evening madam good evening sir good to see yeah. our uh, institutions collaborating okay madam from sandrasas college yes i am the dean of inst uh, incubation here okay incubation. myself dr swajanla principal of imbits okay i am dr nirmala padmanabhan uh, i am heading all the iebc activities here okay okay good good you to hear about a, you have an incubation center there sir yeah we have but need to be more active mahesh yeah. is trying his best hopefully this will be a start and people will become with dynamic leaders hopefully uh, it will become more active yeah we hope so that and jointly let us see that uh, lots of programs we can do it also yeah yeah certainly 100% that's a motivation also because greater the strength you know uh, better the result so the combined effects will certainly i think uh, lead to results yeah we are also going to have a uh, state level hackathon shortly will be announcing okay and uh, my is all very much uh, deeply involved in that also okay it's a title is waste to wonders waste to wonders okay <laughs> then i think we should part in but already we have started our own unit we have a incubator here and i am one of them at uh, where we are uh, shredding tailoring waste and uh, sanitizing it and making soft toys okay <laughs> so this anyway. is going to be a national level uh, hackathon and okay. also in 2017 we are the host of the mhrd smart india hackathon there were two sundays uh, in kerala okay one was in trivandrum one was in cochin so we hosted that program for uh, ministry of tourism in 2007 okay. 17 and uh, 19 and 20 we were the winners in the smart india hackathon in the hardware section oh excellent Yes, congratulations. Thank you. We have already, uh, uh, you know, made significant progress. So, girls, get going. That should be an inspiration, also. Okay, when you are partnering, you should also live up to that. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is also there. Yeah. So, can we start, ma'am? Yeah, yeah. Please, let's stick to time. Three o'clock. Creativity is thinking up new things. Innovation is doing new things. The order level. A very warm good afternoon to one and all. Today we have gathered here for official prize announcement ceremony of Zygon Hackathon 2021, conducted by Innovation and Entrepreneurship Center of Saint Teresa's College, Ernakulam, in collaboration with the Innovation and Entrepreneurship Center of Marbus Leos Institute of Technology and Science, Kodamangalam. I am Khadija Zuhaira, host for the day. They say, "Well begun is half done." Now I cordially invite Avani Suresh to render the prayer. ಗಜಾನಂಭೂತಗಣಾತಿಸೇವಿತಂಭೂಫಲಸಾರಕ್ಷಿತಶೋಗವಿನಾಶಣ ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ವರ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಆವನಿ ನಾವು ಐ ಕಾಲ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಜಯಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಟಿ ಜೆ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ನೂನ್ ಟು ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಫೀಲ್ ಪ್ರಿವಿಲೆಜ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆನರ್ಡ್ to be given this opportunity to welcome you all to Zygon Hackathon 2021-22. First and foremost, I welcome Dr. Sojan Lal, Dr. P. Sojan Lal, Principal of Mar Basili's Institute of Technology and Science, Kodamangalam, to this gathering. Next, I welcome Dr. Nirmala Patmanabhan, Dean of Extension and Intubation, St. Teresa's College, Ernakulam. Next, I welcome Assistant Professor Mahesh K. M., Nodal Officer of Mar Basili's Institute of Technology and Science, IEDC, and Assistant Professor Mary Sruti Melvin, Nodal Officer of Theresian IEDC to this function. Next, I welcome all other teachers and participating teams. Last but not the least, I welcome all other students to today's function. Once again, I welcome you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jalakshmi. 
Next, I would like to invite Dr. P. Sojan Lal, Principal of Marbasliyos Institute of Technology and Science, Kodamangalam, to speak a few words. A very good evening to all of you. Dr. Nirmala Patmanabhan, uh, other distinguished uh, faculty members and students from St. Teresa's College, as well as uh, my dear students from uh, our MBITS Engineering College. It's a really wonderful occasion for all of us to meet together. And I was uh, briefly mentioning at the beginning that uh, in 2007, in fact, actually 2016, <laughs> when MHRD started thinking of the Smart India Hackathon, I went to Delhi for a couple of times exclusively for this purpose and uh, jointly was working with the Dr. Afejeri, in fact, to know what is about the hackathon because that word was uh, quite unfamiliar for me. And I'm sure that it is going to be an interdisciplinary approach where we are thinking of the real practice or the experience makes a man perfect. And again, that's what our students are lagging with. Once we are completing our normal education systems, the skills and knowledge in the domain which you are working on, as well as in the different multidisciplinary domains also, it has been lagging very much. So with that concept, uh, we have ventured into that. And there were 26 nodal centers across India, and two of them were there in Kerala. One was in Trivandrum, and the second was for Cochin. And you know that geographically, Kodamangal is a little far of Cochin, but we are very close to the airport one hour drive from the airport. So it hardly matters whether you stay inside the city or you drive away through this Kodavangalip. So it was very convenient to come over from Alway to here. Unfortunately, we were able to uh, make the Smart India Hackathon for the entire uh, India. And uh, Ministry of Tourism was assigned by AACT for us. And we exceptionally handled it and we got the appreciations and all. That is where we started our journey of Smart India Hackathon. And uh, in the first year, it was only that hackathon was only for the software and the subsequent and also software only for the government organizations. Wherever there is a problem was raised only from the government organization. The next year, 2018, it was extended for the hardware as well as software. And later on, the private agencies, like the major institutions, private organizations are also joined. And fortunately, in, we continued our journey, always sending the students for this, because uh, failure means, FAL fail means a first attempt for your, that is always a number of attempts you need to. Hello, you're audible? Yes, sir, you're audible, sir. So I switched the uh, machine back. Okay. Uh, so the number of uh, attempts you make, uh, that makes a man perfect also. So with that mission, uh, in 2019 as well as in 2020, we, uh, we were the winners. And as I mentioned here, now jointly with the Pollution Control Board and other few other agencies, we are ready to announce the next uh, hackathon in 2021 which we titled as uh, Ways to Wonders. So uh, we are just working along with that. And uh, more information as it comes online, uh, we will inform you also. It's going to be a national level program, uh, jointly with uh, uh, many other collaborators. That is what we are looking forward, and it is still not at uh, finalized. There. And I'm really glad to uh, know that uh, Senator SS College in the fourth cycle of uh, A double plus NAC accreditation. Uh, in fact, I really wanted to congratulate you on the day itself. I tried my level best to reach your principal also, but maybe from an unknown number, maybe uh, she did not pick the call or return the call back. So my best wishes once again, and uh, my appreciation to all of you. And uh, I'm sure that uh, this sort of uh, Collaborative environment will make uh, uh, together we can achieve more. So that is the best motive which we can discuss on today. 
And uh, with these uh, few words, uh, let us uh, look forward uh, for further additional uh, joint uh, programs wherever we will be able to do that. And also, for my dear students, um, please uh, make sure that even a small uh, incremental attempt you make on a daily basis or on a monthly basis or even on an annual basis, that makes uh, one into one is keep always one, but 1 1.1 times uh, power of uh, you multiplied by n times that goes on incremental chain. That is what we say. And also, whatever be your department, whether it is uh, science, whether it is engineering, uh, whether it is arts, commerce, whatever it may be, as you are asked currently, the industries are very complex and working together. You need to understand the minimum working knowledge about other departments also. So that is very essential. And these sort of uh, programs will bring you in the multi-dimensional uh, domains uh, about uh, that aspect. And also considering to the new education policy 2020, which is recently been released at the last year, that also tells a lot of the multidisciplinary aspect of this and the skill-based programs and uh, vocational training and your uh, other uh, personality development skills improvement and all. Uh, locally, nationally, as well as internationally also. So I think that uh, this sort of uh, programs, I appreciate that. Uh, Mahesh and the team from our IDC, as well as uh, Madam Nirmala, Dr. Nirmala, Madam, under your leadership, I'm sure that uh, Sandra's uh, College can uh, bring a lot of uh, incubation centers and which will flourish uh, in India and give a uh, lot of opportunities. Uh, that is, again, another motive of the national level uh, uh, initiative from our Pradhan Mandri Ji also. And with these few words, I conclude and uh, thank you once again and wishing you all the best for all the students and faculty members involved in this. Thank you and uh, have a good time. Thank you, sir, for your wonderful message. Now we have arrived at the most awaited moment of the evening, the prize announcement. Wishing all the participants all the very best. On behalf of IEDC MBITS, I call upon Principal of Marvis Leos Institute of Technology and Science, Kodamangalam, Dr. P. Sojan Lal, to announce the winners from MBITS Kodamangalam. Are uh, you please go ahead to the center as so I will take the next chance. Sure, sir. Now, I invite Dr. Nirmala Patmanabhan, Dean of Extension and Incubation, to pass a message and announce the winners from St. Jesus College, Ernakula. Good afternoon, everyone. Dr. Sojan, Mahesh, Shruti, and all the young, dynamic uh, girls and boys present here. Uh, really, really, I, have, I really am so happy to see this collaborative work. Because, uh, you know, when two giants come together, obviously, we should have results. One, we have MBITS, which has already got a history, a strong history in hackathon. And we have so their technical skills. They are mostly into technical skills. And we have our own special, uh, you know, departments, which are more focused on uh, food, nutrition, garments, interiors, and other things. So this should perfectly complement and each other to address the rural issues and local issues. So right now, I think we have had, uh, from what I understand, if I'm wrong, just correct me. We have had hackathons of teams from there, teams from here. Next, we should see collaborative teams, you know, combining the technology of uh, bits, MBITS and the strength of us to address the local issues. I think that is where we should head to so that we can also think of collaboration between our incubation centers and joint teams involving students from there and here because then the strength will always be much better because you will complement and supplement each other so looking forward to that uh, and congratulating the entire team of iedcs for such a thoughtful you know such a dynamic uh, collaboration yeah, I'm, I'm sure all of you must have worked now i come to the critical point that is the announcement of the results so before I uh, announce, I would just like to, I really liked uh, Sojan Sa's uh, concept that failure is only, you know, the first attempt. So others who don't win, please don't take it as a failure, take it as a first attempt. And we want you on board. The very fact that you have uh, participated in this means that you have the spirit in you. If not now, it will happen later. So 
with this i declare ma'am you are on mute uh, can you just okay with this i declare the results of um, st teresa's college should i start from 1 2 3 or 3 2 1 well, what should i do ma'am let's go 3 2 1 3 2 1 okay uh the third place goes to team glaciers glaciers are there here team glaciers so congratulations to our team glaciers the second place goes to team ferocious congratulations okay and the first place goes to team hustlers so congratulations team hustlers team ferocious and glaciers and we look forward to now seeing your projects in action developing you know in in, in translating it into a uh, real uh, incubate unit so thank you thank you everybody special congratulations to the winners as well as to the organizers congratulations to all the winners thank you ma'am now i call upon Dr. P. Sojan Lal, Principal of Marble Studios Institute of Technology and Science, to announce the winners. Over to you, sir. Yeah, very good evening once again. See, meanwhile, I had a technical difficulty in one of the machines, so I was trying to switch over without having the interruption. That is what I was done. And just for your information, without having much of information, I just managed the situation. So just for the students' information, I'm just telling. So as uh, Madam was also mentioning that uh, this is a, the participation is more important than the price. So let me say that the prize, the team sandbox, team member Alfit Maria Baby S4 Computer Science, fourth semester Computer Science. The second prize goes to the team Wizards. Team members are Sri Rashmi Chandran, uh, Sharon Ennis, Sijina CJ, Sonu Sani, or all. of them are a seventh semester electronics and communication branches then the first prize goes to uh, cybertron the team members are abhiram ks julie mariam jacob fais thotadal kabir joyal kurian elias all of them seventh semester computer science congratulations to all the winners and as madam said that all uh, Uh, try to move forward and also i would expect that shortly sort of a hackathon wherever it comes uh, kindly participate and uh, see that uh, participation is more important get, uh, than getting the prize also and those who got the prize even though people who doesn't get the prize also you can still continue working on the your project and the mindset on the proposal whatever you propose that and thank you very much over to the moderator thank you sir Kadija, your voice was breaking. Ma'am, is it okay now? Yeah, now it's fine. Sorry for the uh, issue. I had a slight net issue. Once again, congratulations to the winners and all participants of Zygon Hackathon 2021. Next, let's have the winning presentations on our screen. I call upon Team Cybertron from Embed Kodamangalam for their presentation. Hello, am I audible? Okay. Yes, you are. Okay. Yes. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for appreciating and uh, finding our presentation interesting. Thank you so much. Um, now I'll get into the presentation. Okay. So our, our um, project was a smart trolley, which can be operated using Android application. So uh, basically, what it, what what it was was um, we can reduce the time spent at the billing section while shopping. Um, um, so um, the prevailing system is that uh, we have to. pick up some products and go to the billing section and pay at the billing session so we can't uh, control our budgets or uh, we can't see if there's any uh, how much discount we are getting from the total bill so uh, on our proposed um, system 
there there is an uh, RFID module on the trolley system. So uh, there's also an RFID sticker or a tag on the product. So once we take these products and put it into the uh, basket, so we can see it in our app. It is um, linked with our Android app using QR code also. So we can uh, control our budgets, see offers, everything in the app. Uh, next slide. So these are the components we used in our um, project. So we need a trolley. Where we, the Arduino board, RFID reader are all fixed into the trolley so that um, the recognition could be happening uh, on the spot. And Android is used for the application. So um, there is a video of how our product uh, project works. We will see that. So this is the interface of our Android application. First, we uh, first the user logs in. And um, we can see the um, current offers and uh, all the categories that are available in the store. And we can see the products that are available with the uh, MRP and the offer price. And uh, this is the hardware that is being used onto the trolley system. Uh, there is an Arduino board and uh, an RFID reader. And there's an OLED display which shows if the product has been scanned or not. This is a prototype that we had built for this project. And uh, this is how you connect the Android app with the trolley. Um, there's a QR code on each trolley. Uh, use the app to scan that QR code and the app is linked with the trolley. So uh, on each, this is a, um, how the product is being scanned. The RFID tag uh, is shown to the reader or when you place it into the uh, shopping cart, it is re uh, read. And on that OLED, we can see that it's been read and it's updated on the app instantly. So to, to remove the uh, product once added, you can remove using the app by using the remove button, or uh, you can tap the product again onto the reader and it will be removed. So after that, um, paying the bill can be done using card. Uh, so in the demo video, we have used the card payment option or uh, the UPI can also be used. Thank you. That's our project. Hope you like. Thank you. What is the extended use of this uh, project? Um, we can use it in shopping marts and uh, in fashion stores. So uh, there, there won't be any queuing up at the billing session. You can instantly pay and uh, leave the store, sir. So and uh, you can know where the product is kept before going to the store as it's there in the app. Do you find any application in our embits? As in um, a, a use case in embits or? Yes. We can um, we can use it in the library section, sir. Exactly. I agree. Well done. Well done. <laughs> That's what I was looking. Because in some of the international libraries, this has been using. And you can do that. So it's a matter of uh, anywhere you can use it. And now it is, uh, you can sell this product starting from small shop to bigger shop. And uh, yes, that uh, you can make uh, even register as a uh, what you call private limited company or something you can so like that you can just start it wish you all the best thank you sir so can i just ask something is there any competing products uh, available in the market in india or internationally have you done a market analysis uh, yes so currently uh, a new system has come in uh, coaching De decathlon there's a system where uh, it's a basket at the billing session, so you put everything into the basket and it's seen at the uh, the monitor. So it's at the checkout um, location where this product has been placed. Not this one, it's a similar concept, but it's not on the trolley system. That's one that we've seen in uh, in India. Otherwise, in international market, it's, um, we're not seen it much, but the idea has been there around. Okay. I feel so that in... Have you done a price uh, comparison of the one in Decathlon compared to what you are uh, planning? 
so ours is a more cheaper as a as um, we, we don't have uh, the display in decathlon there's a display and uh, the the whole counter system has had to be changed for us it's the shopping cart so there's only a module that should be fixed into the shopping cart so it will be cheaper on our side okay. but again the development of the app it's an off the shelf app so the development is there separately okay. great idea because many a time i take things to the counter and then ask them okay i have in my purse i have only so much rupees so once a bill comes to that please stop <laughs> so <laughs> so that this will really help yes ma'am faisal you take to uh, you make awareness among the people and you start selling this product that's very important sure sir sure sir thank you team cyberton That was a really great presentation. Now I invite Team Hustlers, winner from Saint Teresa's College, Ernakulam, for their presentation. Good afternoon, everyone. We are delighted to introduce our software application, Quick Bill. It is an app that provides a new style of purchase and a bill payment at the supermarket. So, myself, Ashwini Kavi, let me introduce you to my team members, Elizabeth James Nadiri, Leah Jerry, Sandra and Benjamin, and Nuzha Parveen M of B Second Year B Com Finance and Taxation Regular from Saint Louis College. we are the team hustlers so as a team we have taken up the challenge how can we reduce the rush of people in the supermarket bill payment section in the current situation as we know customers tend to purchase a lot these days and uh, long queues can be a big turn off for customers and even for the supermarket it tends to lose customers in the process so for this we have come up with a new app called quick bill Quick Bill basically focuses on avoiding crowd at the billing area, and um, this will also save uh, save the time of the customers who intend to purchase. So I'll be explaining about the working of the app. First of all, you need to download the app from Play Store and uh, register using either your mail ID or your phone number. And once you register, an OTP will be generated, uh, which you will receive either via your mail or your phone number. Once you enter the OTP code, you will be taken to an introduction page, which is basically for the first-time users. Uh, they will brief you about the steps that will be taken to proceed with the app. Then you will get a list of the supermarkets that have registered with our app. And uh, after selecting the particular supermarket where you intend to purchase from, you can start scanning the products that you wish to purchase. What you have to basically do is select the product that you wish to purchase, scan the barcode given in the back of the product, and put it in the trolley. And uh, you can continue the same procedure with every other product so that you can end the um, uh, avoid the rush of billing it at the end. Then uh, select the mode of payment that you wish to make, and also you can also uh, make a selection regarding the number of carry bags that you require. Which you can collect from the counter later. Then a bill, uh, bill will be uh, uh, generated, which uh, you can download in the form of a digital copy. That's it. Quick bill is beneficial for both supermarkets as well as customers. Let's see the advantages for customers. First one is the introduction of the app helps all days people. That is usually all days people they have really less information about the technologies. So by reading the introduction page, they will know better about how to use this app. Second one is use product number as alternative for codes. That is when at times QR code and barcode doesn't work, so the customer can type the product number instead. Next one is different modes of payment. Quick Bill also provides different modes of payment, which makes the app uh, really convenient for customers to use it since they can pay using card, Google Pay, cash, anything. Next is uh, staff to help customers, and there are various staffs at the supermarkets to help the customers if they have any issues related to this app. Uh, next one is target market. Target market basically means that this app can be used by you know any people of any age group. And the last one is amount will be immediately displayed on the screen uh, when the customers. Scan the barcode. The amount of the product will be displayed immediately, so they will know how much money they are spending. There are also various advantages to the supermarket. First one, it helps to attract more customers. This will provide convenience to the customers as it brings new customers, as this is a time-reducing element. Second one, it, it increases sales. 
since it brings new customers. Third one, lower labor costs. This software has the ability to enhance and improve management, so it gets done with lower labor. It cuts down labor as there are no labor charges, no service charges. Fourth one gets a competitive edge. The supermarket who have registered through this app increases their customer base as it slowly increases its sales. This will be an advantage to the supermarkets and there will be they will exist competition among other supermarkets. Along with many advantages, we do face a few challenges. The first one is lack of smartphones. In this modern world, there are still people who cannot afford a smartphone or people who are reluctant to use smartphones. So these people cannot use our app. Second one is online payment can go down due to technical problems. Uh, this internet these days cannot be trusted. So uh, while making the payment, if any glitch occurs, then they cannot complete their online transaction. Next one is customer's irresponsibility to scan a product. Uh, there may occur situations where a customer misses out to scan a specific product or product. So then uh, at that time, it will take uh, time on the part of customers and also supermarkets to counter check all those products. The last one is convincing the established supermarket. Since our software application is a new one, uh, many supermarkets may not accept us. So it will be a challenge for us to convince those established supermarkets. We also use certain uh, promotional techniques to market our app. The first one that we use is word of mouth. We communicate directly to our customers regarding the details of the app. And if they like using the app, they recommend it to their relatives and friends. Likewise, they create a channel of communication. Second one is social media. In the present scenario, social media is one of the best platforms to introduce or to ad advertise relating any manner, matter. So, our main focus is on the different types of social media that will help us promote the uh, usage and the details about our app. Third one is brochures of the supermarket, which is very common. We also like to use this as our promotional techniques at the supermarkets to attract new customers who haven't heard about the details about the app earlier. Now, let us look on to a small demonstration on how the uh, app really works. So I hope that the concept behind QuickPill was clear to you all. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, IEDC for this opportunity. It's been a pleasure to be a part of this event. Uh, and we as a team hope that this app can come into existence in the coming years and can help all the customers uh, with their time problems and uh, they don't have to wait in the long queues. And this will also say, uh, save their time. And not only them, it can also be a great help to the supermarkets to attract more customers um, as uh, time is money. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Team Hustlers, for this wonderful presentation. A moment of express gratitude is joy intensified. Now, I call upon Shravana R. Prabhu to convey the vote of thanks. Good afternoon, all. The essence of all beautiful work is gratitude. It is the inward feeling of kindness received. I'm here to follow that impulse to express my heartfelt gratitude to everyone that worked towards making this event successful. First, I thank Dr. P. Sojan Lal, principal of Mar Basilis Institute of Technology and Science for his support. Next, I would like to thank esteemed Professor Mahesh Kayam, Nodal Officer of MBITS and the entire executive team for their valuable guidance and support throughout this event. Next, I thank Dr. Nirmala Patmanabhan, Dean of Extension Incubator, St. Rosa's College, and Assistant Professor Mary Shruti Melbin, Nodal Officer of St. Teresa's IEDC, for their valuable guidance. I would also like to thank the student team of Teresa's IEDC for making this event a grand success. 
Once again, I thank each and everyone from the bottom of my heart for your valuable presence. Thank you. Thank you, Shravana. With this, we come to the end of our event. We are living in a period of rapid change driven by innovation and technology. In such a situation, the role IEDCs play in colleges are integral. Let us hope that more such initiatives like today's are taken up so that students grow as innovators. Thank you all for joining in making Zygon a grand success. Once again, thank you and have a cheerful day ahead. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good time tomorrow. Bye.